Do you know what the world's largest machine is? No, it's not a super tanker or a giant excavator. It is the power grid, which covers from large generation plants to your home. Worldwide, we have a problem, global climate change. The power grid has been part of the problem, but it is part of the solution. In the last few years, the appearance of renewable energy sources, distributed generation, and the advances in power electronics, sensing, and communications has led to a change on the energy paradigm, changing the way we understand it. The main problem of renewable energy sources is their weather dependency. What would you do if it is cloudy or not windy today? Well, you could have stored energy yesterday when it was sunny and windy in a battery or as heat in the walls of your house or in your electric vehicle. But to know when these storage devices will be full or empty, when it is more profitable to charge or discharge them and to manage them properly for ensuring energy sufficiency, you need to forecast the behavior of these storage and the weather-dependent production of renewable energy sources. This is called predictive control strategies. We need to integrate and transmit power from renewable energy sources into the power system. For a secure connection, we cannot simply plug them into the grid. To connect and control them, we need to use special devices called converters. Converters are like the chargers of your phone, just as big as football fields. Too many converters can destabilize the system though. So what can we do? We can improve the converter's control and let them interact in a way to stabilize the system. We can try to improve global stability and worry less about converters themselves. We can try to use the wind farms to support the stability of the grid or do everything at the same time. Now, how do we manage this complex network? Different resources in the grid have different characteristics owned by different entities and their actions have a huge impact on the grid. Moreover, how these resources are used is uncertain, which adds uncertainty to an already uncertain renewable power generation. Hence, the management of the network requires forecasting, planning, and coordination. How do we forecast? And if we can, how do we actually use this knowledge in a practical way? How do we plan and coordinate the operation of these resources among different entities such that it is efficient, stable, and protects consumers from rapid price fluctuations? If we want to perfectly control the network, we need to monitor and protect it. Therefore, we need to determine the best location of smart sensors and how to use them to obtain an accurate picture of the grid. But what if something goes wrong? Minimizing the effects of power delivery interruptions and therefore increase the reliability of the network is a priority. That's why we use smart sensors to increase the accuracy of our fault detections and localization methods. With that information, intelligent controls can ensure that the power is delivered to the end consumers in the smartest and most cost-efficient way. All these problems are currently addressed by Insight by developing solutions and control strategies for the electricity grid of tomorrow. Insight brings together a group of 14 PhDs funded by the European Union under a Marie Curie Action Innovative Training Network located in different parts of Europe. Insight, making the grid smarter.